Hello cousins, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Big Mama Cooks and I have an Instagram page where I post recipes all the time at Big Mama Cooks underscore. Today's recipe as we continue with our Semana Santa recipes is berenjena guisada. You either love berenjena or you hate it. I am a berenjena lover. This recipe and this video is special to me because the hands making this recipe is my mom. This is not me. I am only recording, but my mom is making this recipe. It's my favorite and I feel special that she let me film this. Let's get right to it. We are going to start the video by showing two berenjenas. Berenjenas are eggplants. So we have two medium sized eggplants and my mom taught me this trick. When you cut off the ends of the eggplants and they are white, all bright white and the seeds are white you have two really good eggplants on your hands so we're gonna start off by preheating our oven to 350 degrees this recipe calls for roasting the berenjena before guisandola so we are going to wrap our berenjenas in aluminum foil nice and tight and we're going to put them to roast for 45 minutes at 350 degrees hi mom all of the ingredients will be listed in the bottom bar, but I'll give you a rundown on everything that we're going to be using. Some cubanelo peppers, some olives, one chicken bouillon cube, a red bell pepper. We have some sliced red onions, some chopped up cilantro, one sazoncito de color. We have some vinegar. Any vinegar is fine. That's just my mom's personal preference. And we also have some tomato sauce. When the eggplants are done roasting and we pull them out of the oven, they release a thick liquid, almost like an oil. This is completely normal. And they become really, really easy to peel. So the peel, the skin of the berenjena comes right off. And if you're wondering why does this recipe entail one to roast the berenjenas before guisandola, this is a family preference. Roasting the berenjenas before guisandola gives you this smoky flavor. It's very particular and we love it. Once your berenjenas are completely peeled, the next step is to mash them together. Now, eggplants are very fibrous, so it takes a tiny, tiny bit of elbow grease to get them all mashed together. This takes about two minutes. And then we get right into guisando las berenjenas. So we have a pot going on medium high heat and we're going to add in one tablespoon of oil. So that we're going to add in all of our veggies to sofre the veggies and get them to start softening up. Next, we're going to mix in our chicken bouillon cube until it completely dissolves. And we're going to mix it together with the vegetables to get those flavors marrying. Then we're going to add in, it was a total of half a cup of tomato sauce mixed in gradually. Not tomato paste, tomato sauce. But if you're going to be using tomato paste, make sure it's two tablespoons of tomato paste and add half a cup of water. Not pictured at this point, we also added in one tablespoon of vinegar. And then we're adding in our one sazoncito de color. We're going to mix that up really well and lower the flame to medium. And then we're going to add in our berenjena. I know this looks like weird gray goo, but if you're a berenjena lover, then you know what's up. This is pure greatness. We're going to mix the veggies really well into the berenjena so that it can start taking on that wonderful orangeish reddish berenjena guisada color. Yes, there are many different ways to prepare berenjena, but this is specifically berenjena guisada. After going for three minutes on medium, we're adding in the chopped cilantro and we're going to cover the berenjenas for 10 minutes on medium heat. At the end of those 10 minutes when we return, I gave this a taste test and I'm going to raise the volume so you can hear the behind the scenes. So there you have it cousins, berenjena guisada. Drop a comment below if you like this video and don't forget to hit like. Thank you for watching cousins. See you again next time.